am about to reveal my trading secrets in this video. So make sure you guys watch this whole entire video. This information is honestly top secret and can change your life forever if you apply it correctly. If you guys do want to learn my exact US 30 strategy, make sure you send me a DM on Instagram. I have five spots open for this month and I will personally guide you towards success in this industry and help you get to $10,000 a month. If you guys don't believe that this strategy actually works, look on the screen because I had three students recently hit some of their highest days trading after my mentorship. Also, if you guys do want to trade live with me every day, I host live trading sessions. All you have to do is click the link in my description or there should be a link on this video somewhere where you guys can go directly to the website and it'll be the live trading packet. And lastly, and I know you guys are dying for this information, if you guys could show some type of love drop a comment below like this video or subscribe if you haven't already and hey check out my channel i have a ton of other videos based around us 30 and trading in general they'll help you guys out now without further ado let's get into my computer okay guys i'm going to show you in this video my top trading setups do not share this with anybody i don't even know why i'm showing you guys this video because you might use this and just outwork me and surpass me as a trader but who cares let's get back to the people now i want to show you guys three different setups with my ideal perfect indications of making a perfect setup that just when i look at these charts i'm like oh my gosh yes that is it right there it's going to go crazy so the first thing that I like to look at is I like to see my Asia session have some type of consolidation. I don't want to see big moves happening during the Asia session. I want to see very small moves happening. That's the first thing that I like to see. And with the consolidation in the Asia ring, to actually identify the Asia session, just get the indicator, the kill zones indicator. You just type in Asia and it should be Asia range kill zones, something like that. Watch my other videos if you want to find that out, okay? So I like to see the consolidation during the Asia. That is the gray box right there. Then I like to see the trend being confirmed during the London session. So the candle that it's pointing at where it says trend is confirmed in the London, notice how that candle breaks the low of the Asia session. We are now confirmed that we are in a clear downtrend. So my bias during the market open is most likely going to be to go short. I'm going to be a seller. Now we can see during the London session, we see these lower lows and lower highs being formed. So we are obviously in a very clear downtrend here. And it's gonna be vice versa if we're in an uptrend. You know that you're in a clear uptrend when price is just going lower and then a little bit higher than before, but lower the next time. Also, one indication that I, got, that I want you guys to see is for the beginning of the new or the London session, we can see that the candles right here are above the EMA. Notice how they switch below the EMA right here. We broke below the 20 EMA, came to retest it, broke below, tested it one more time, then stayed below the EMA. Wow, that is absolutely gorgeous right there to see that. Now we even have more confirmation that we are in a downtrend. Now I want you guys to look right here at this candle. We can see that this is our reversal candle at 615 to 630. So yes, this candle opened at 615, closed at 630. Right after that is the market open. Boom! We can see price just completely drops down. So the market is coming down. We have a little of exhaustion right here. Then we have this doji form. After that, boom, price comes out and completely free falls, probably at least a thousand pips. And yeah, we're looking at NAS 100 right here, but these setups occur on US 30 as well. I've just noticed lately that NAS 100, the technicals are absolutely sexy on NAS 100. Like absolutely amazing how they have been like, the technicals are just lining up perfectly on NAS 100 over US 30 right now. So I'm keeping my eye on NAS 100 too. So this is our first perfect setup right here. Take notes. 
And if you guys were smart, what you would do is literally just take a screenshot of this, print it out, and have it by your trade station. Like, if you're not logically thinking like that, there's something off in your brain. Hey, but you can fix that. Second setup right here, we're going to be looking at NAS as well. All these setups are on NAS, but like I said, they're all applicable to US 30. We can see we have our consolidation in Asia. Here's our Asia, Asia session consolidating. Then it breaks to the high during the London. But notice how these candles are really small. The only two, the only big candles are right here and right here. But notice a lot of these candles are very small. Then boom. We see price starts breaking higher at the open of the New York session. We have this higher high. So notice right here, this wick, it forms a high that was not hit all throughout the Asia and the London session. So we have this new high hit. We can resemble this as a higher high. Then we have our higher low. Notice once again how the candles are staying above the 20 EMA. And this is what I love to see, guys. This is like, oh, this is it. And I'm pretty, it didn't happen there. It happened on the next one. But notice how the candles, we hit the 20 EMA, and then the next candle closes above it. So right here, we have a nice bullish engulfing. This candle engulfs the previous candle right here. This is our 6.15 to 6.30 a.m. candle, which after that is the market open. We can see, boom, price shoots down first to have a false breakout. Notice how this wick is rejecting our 20 EMA, and then price just freaking explodes to the upside. I actually took this trade on this candle on Monday. It was Monday when this trade happened, and price, I took it all the way to this next level right here. So this is like a really clean setup but overall what i am getting at is i want you guys to look at the market and i want you to see a setup where you are just talking to yourself like oh my gosh this is my perfect setup i know for a fact it's going to do this whatever you think it's going to do you do not want to be showing up to the markets and saying well uh it kind of looks like it could do this but i don't know it also could do this I want you guys to have 100% certainty when you show up to the markets and you see a setup. So with me, these setups that I'm showing you are literally like 99.99% accurate. Yes, there's that still 0.1% where it could go the other direction due to news, politics, anything happening because I sadly can't control the markets. I wish I was a market maker, but I'm freaking not. So I want you guys to show up to the market like, that's it, there's my perfect setup right there. So yes, take a screenshot of this and print it out. If you guys click, if you're on a Mac computer, click Shift Command 3, and that will take a screenshot of your computer. Computer, I don't know how to do it on HP. You guys have to figure that out if you're on HP. Now, this is the last and final setup right here. This isn't like my ideal, oh my god, perfect setup. That's why I don't have as many notes on it, but... We can see that we have our Asia session right here, kind of consolidates, then London. London is respecting the high of the Asia session, drops down very heavily. There's a lot of exhaustion, and I can tell that there's exhaustion in the market and that something else is going to happen, most likely a reversal, because we see all these candles bunched up together, and they're not going anywhere. It's hitting the support. Hitting the support, hitting the support, hitting the support. Look at all these wicks to the bottom. So when we see wicks to the top, it's going to drop. When we see wicks to the bottom like this and like this, that means that it's going to push up. So we see a lot of wicks pointing to the bottom. It's going to push up, push up. It can't. And then what the market is waiting for is it's waiting for the market open to come out. So we can see right here on this candle, we have a beautiful, beautiful hammerhead candle. Notice how this candle, it engulfs the body of all these candles. So now we have our bullish candle pushing up and we're like, okay, here come the buyers in the market. After this candle is gonna be 6.30, that's the market open. And what do we see? Price barely comes down and boom, price freaking explodes to the upside and then rallies up to our previous high right here. I would have easily bought off this candle, had my take profit at this level, 
or this level that I have marked up right here. And you could have accum accumulated even more orders right here. We have two spinning tiles back to back, rejecting our 20 EMA and even rejecting this level right here. And it's a beautiful V pattern. And I forgot to mention this right here to you guys. We have this massive V pattern right here just symbolizing the price is going to shoot up so if you guys do not know you could look at it as a or v patterns as hills as valleys as bottoms as tops whatever you want to freaking call it i think the easiest and the best way to look at it is just an a or v pattern we see price comes down and then it goes up we have this v pattern those form then right here price goes up and then down we have this a pattern but notice how we have this v pattern again it comes down then up so a is equal sells b's equal buys these are the top three setups that i have looked at over the past couple of days that are absolutely phenomenal the win rate is going to be so high take these setups to the grave with you and like i said screenshot every single one of these setups hit shift command three on your computer on the um the numbers whatever you want to call them i can't even think right now the, the keyboard, click shift command three on your keyboard and it will screenshot for you. Print those screenshots out and have them by your trading station so you can compare them to present markets when the time comes. I appreciate you all. I hope you're all having a great day. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out guys.